Welcome you all to this virtual platform. In this session, we are going to learn how to find the factorial of a number. Okay, for this program, I have taken here one two labels, one text box and one com command button. In command button, I will type all my codes. So let's start the program. So go to level one, type there, enter a number. Enter a number and level 2 is my output. Okay, so here I am going to find the what factorial. Okay, and you can see this is my command. This is my command 1. Okay, so I can change the name. Okay, as caption, it will find what it will find the fact. And this command one name I'm going to change factor real. The button name I'm changing to factor real. Okay, so now if I will double click on this uh, which one button, what will come? This is called your event processor. Okay, event processor start with here subroutine SAV sub. Okay, factor real. So this is we are writing our code in the button. And I have given the name to that button factorial. Okay, let's start the program. And uh, first, I have taken the text box one where I have to give my input. So now just declare one variable num as integer. Okay, and you have to declare another output variable fact as long because your uh, integer occupy two byte of space, long occupy. 4 byte of space. After factorial you will find, you will get a big number. No? For that purpose we have declared dim as a long. Now if to run the loop I require the variable i. Okay, i as a long. Okay, now do one thing. Sorry, sorry. You have to take i as a integer. Okay, and here you initialize. Okay, num. You just store the value of your text box in number. So before that, you just convert into numeric form, or better, you use uh, which one? C int function, type conversion function, C int to convert the text wall text box value into which value? Numeric value. So text box text one dot txt, okay, which is converted into which form? Uh, integer form. So, C int will convert your string into integer. Result has to store in num. Now, initialize your fact variable to 1. And how you are doing in the C programming? No? Same thing only, same code only, nothing other than that. Your syntax is only little different. Okay. Now, i is also no need to initialize i equal 1 because I am going to use the for loop. And for loop only, I am going to initialize. Okay. I start from what? 1 and i will go up to. I will go up to what num number. So the number is five. So it will go from my i equal one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So it it will increment by i equal to i plus one. For that I am typing step one. Step one means i equal to i plus one. Okay. After that here only one code that is your fact equal to fact into what i. Okay. Now I am going to and my for loop. For that I have to give next. This is the syntax of your which loop? For loop. Okay. So it will do fact into this code. We will find the factorial of a number. Then we have to I have to display my output in label to label to dot caption equal to what I will type. I will type the factorial of a number. Factorial of a number okay factor of number is either the concatenation of the term person then you can use what variable you have to specify output variable is fact okay well let's see how it works suppose uh, from text box you enter 5 okay so that means a num will be your what after converting it is a num will be a 5 so i will go from 1 to num means what num is 5 1 to 5 then 
fact is how much one i is how much initial one one into one one got two in fact again go i to i plus one using step one okay now i is two so one into two two got two like that i to i plus one i is how much now three so now two already stored in here fact and this is three two into three six so six got stored in a fact again i to i plus one six into mm, what four twenty four Okay, we have 24 store in fact. Now time will come i equal to 5 in that 24 into 5. So it will be a 120 will come. Okay, when it will become 6, it will exit the for loop. Program control will come to the next statement after the for loop that is your label 2 dot caption. I, I hope you understood. Let's execute the uh, program for that. You do, you do one thing. First, you have to go to your form. You have to go, go into change the start of the form so it's for that you have to go for project one properties what is my startup form you can see this is factorial form 22 so what i will do form 22 i will select startup object okay then you go for your start click on start okay so sorry again uh, what is the mistake project one my form is sorry form is 22 okay okay so now in text box i have entered five okay so see the factorial of a number is 120 factorial of a five is what 120 let's find the factorial of four 24 factorial of three six and uh, factorial of one is one only okay and the uh, factorial of uh, six 720 factorial of 10 so very big number i think you understood how to find the factorial of a number if you like it just subscribe my channel and bell on the notification button thank you for watching